to another day. Isn't that a good thing? That's a blessing to make it to another day. Sometimes we we feel like we can't go on, and then we know that we must. So I'm glad that you chose to spend this time with me this hour. And hopefully, throughout this time, I got salmon over here. What you got over there? What's up, Keisha? Hey, Kirk Payne. Oh, hallelujah. What's up, Greg? You know I know who you are. What's up, Brad? How you doing, Brad? Hi, Fred. How you doing? Yes. See, Dean, you know what I'm talking about. That you, you up all night, and then when you lay down and sleep, you still up, you know? That's that restless spirit. You know, so many things going on. Well, a lot of things that happen. Let me be clear. I have a garbage can. It's over there. But I don't like to walk over there and do all of that. I just put it in here. So let me, for all y'all that's wondering if I have a garbage can, I do. And all I got to do is stick my foot on it. But then I got to go through all of that drama. So, anywho. Um, hey, Tara. How you doing, baby? What's up, my sister Lauren Tyner Ford? Everybody, give Lauren and Scott a big old round of applause for handling our tea time group so well. They are amazing. Okay, so let me tell you, in the midst of all of this, you know, I, I continue to say that, you know, we have to stay grateful. We, we have to look at ways to keep our spirits happy. And the way I keep my spirit is happy is I just try really hard to concentrate on all the good things, my grateful moments. Have you uh, been in tune with your, your grateful moments? I'm grateful today. So I want you to join me in being grateful because we made it thus far. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, we did. Now, we're having today, I'm making a, um, a uh, let, me, let me stop this for a second. I'm making a, a jerk salmon um, pasta salad. And I'm also, as an alternative, because some of you have been asking me, well, Teresa, can you make it vegan style? And I can tell you now that we can actually jerk some of the vegetables if you like. Um, I'm going to jerk some of them before I put them in the pasta. And if you'd like, you can just, now this is what I've been doing. Um, today, I put some jerk sauce together with some fresh mango. For those of us who, you know, are trying to do as much non-meat as possible, not even fish. So I, I took some chunks of, of the mango and I'm adding the jerk sauce to it. And what you can actually do if you're doing raw is you can just take some of the vegetables that I just did. You'll see me put some of the little chunks over here in this, in this thing right here, in this bowl. And you'll have some color. And um, I'm going to get a couple more pieces of this, this yellow. And uh, you can also take you some broccoli. And this is going to be delicious for those of you who um, really feel like you don't want to have any pasta or meat. I tell you, take the jerk seasoning. Get you all of your, your fresh raw veggies. And this is just going to be a small little salad. I think this parsley takes be tastes better if you do it this way. If you're able to stomach a little bit of Parmesan, I would actually sprinkle it on there. And this is your quick meal. Because some of us have to have those quick meals. 
So you just mix this up without the pasta or with the pasta. You mix this in. Tell me, do you want me to wait until the pasta is ready to mix it in with this for you? Or do you want me to go ahead and finish this up right quick? <laughs> what is it? Hey, Michelle Lowe. Uh, when is it over and we come up there to Chicago for another show? I'll stand up and say, hey, it's me. Oh, Kirk, you know, I'll look forward to that day. I really, truly look forward to that day. Look, it's so vibrant and beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I had on some chocolate colored pajamas that my mom gave me. Mom Althea gave me some uh, chocolate colored pajamas and I almost did the show in that. Just so I could be very, very comfortable today. Thank you so much, J. King says I'm looking cool. So I'm going to take a few more of these tomatoes and then let me tell you what I'm going to do. You take the mango and um, I'm going to add like a, I measured it out. It's a very small amount, but it's about a half a tablespoon of jerk sauce. Half a tablespoon. But you know, you got to be careful when the jerk sauce is really spicy. You take that. <laughs> You're mixing in with the mango. And that's for some of you who really can't take a lot of jerks seasoning. I get mine from Uncle Joe. It's great jerk sauce. And then I'm only I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna pour it over these vegetables. Let me see. That is good. Oh my god, and it's still nice and spicy for you. Let me get the spoon. Here we go. You can pour it over these veggies. Just like it's a dressing. Just toss it around. Just toss it around. Let me see. I lost the bell pepper. Just toss it around. I'm going to suggest that you take a little sea salt if you need it. Two turns. That's it, because the jerk sauce does have salt in it. And, and maybe you can take some fresh black pepper. And um, that's going to be a great salad for you. It's tasty. It's got spices in it. I definitely think you should use the cracked pepper. But hey, the cracked black pepper. That tastes good. That's for all of you vegans. I need to get this my sauce up. Hold on. That's for all you vegans who are worried about the cookbook. A lot of my recipes, you can just do nothing but veg vegetables with it, and you'll be fine. And then, you know, if it's calling for meat, you just have to skip over the meat part. So let me see what you guys are saying over here. I'm going to go on and move on. You look gorgeous, comfortable today anyway. Thank you so much, Joan. Diane Church, you a bright light in the dog world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Chocolate covered pajamas. For real, D. For real, sis. What's up, Arlene? How you doing, Sister Walker? How you doing, Kathy Ingram? Thank you. Y'all say I can wear anything beautifully. Well, this is what I'm doing. All right, let's see. I'm going to keep it moving because I need to go over here. Um... I need to go over here and make sure that I take the pasta off and and drain it. And then we're going to make our big salad. And somehow I'm going to figure out how to get to the big bowl. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But in the midst of this, I'm going to dance my behind up on some kind of stool and get me my big bowl <laughs> that I forgot. Or I'll reach up under here and get one. But let's, let's start something funny. Something fun. Mmm. This for J. King. Ooh, I'm going to use one of these big old Tupperware bowls. Yes. I never knew that I'm like this before.
Hold on, because I, I was watching her today. So I got to do it. Hold on. Let me give me a little oil.
that love disappear. I never underestimate the moon glow of time. I'm glad to say in my heart, I know my love lasts. Sometimes when we do them, they look like they've fallen out, but I'm I'm just making sure I saute them. And that tastes good. That tastes really good. Let me see if I can get Eric to put this on the grill. Because I want this to be ready in a few minutes. And I bet you, if I do this, he can help me out. So I'm about to have my salmon that I put on the grill a few minutes ago because I didn't want you all to have to wait for so long. And we've already got everything else. So we're going to, this pasta salad doesn't take forever. As you can see, if you just go ahead, your, your prep time for your salmon, as you can see, it wasn't that long. Just give yourself five minute prep time for your salmon. But you also got to boil your pasta and you've got to saute your vegetables and you want to saute them slowly. You don't want them to to look like limp noodles, not in a spring or a summer pasta salad. Looks yummy, Tara, thank you. Stephanie Coleman Wilson, can everybody please wish my girlfriend, Stephanie Coleman Wilson, a happy birthday? I'm horrible, horrible, horrible. We're just gonna play some music right now, okay? I don't want nobody to be like, oh my God, did she do that? Yeah, come on, let's just go through this. Let's just keep playing some music. Oh, hot. Hey. 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 
Yes, it is, Sandrell. I just tasted it. Better now I can get on tea time. I'm glad you're here, uh, a.k.a. Breezy. You finally made it. What's up, Joyce? Thomas, how you doing? Debbie Massa, how you doing? Hey, Adele. How you doing, Adele? You out here, sis? Y'all say hi to Adele. I see y'all already doing it. What's up, Adele? Kurt Payne said, hey, Adele. Okay, everybody say hi to Adele. Adele, that's my sister. Y'all, okay. I'm, I'm already hungry. This is almost finished. Because like I told you, I, you know, your spinach cooks down really fast. Really, really, really fast. Oh, it looks so yummy. Let me see. Do I need... Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just a lemon. Okay, y'all. So now y'all know I'm going to tell you to take a half of a lemon a half of a lemon and I want you to squeeze it over your veggies okay squeeze it over your veggies put them back on for one more minute and that is it after you do it for one more okay two minutes that's it we're done with that part of it and you already have you know now this is what you can do if you decide that you want some pasta to go with this, you can always put you some pasta in here. It's not going to kill you. But a lot of you guys are on some special diets. And I totally get it. So I totally get it. Um, for those of you who have husbands who don't really do spicy, spicy, don't add your jerk sauce to the fish. Um, wait until the end and take you just a moderate amount don't put more because this is a serving for six and this is 1.5 uh salmon so the ounces of the salmon is 1.5 and the um 
the pasta is a serving for six, and so all of us are serving for six. When you get through doing this, you could probably serve eight people because if you don't want to be like really greedy, this will serve eight people. Um, I will put this on a bed of spinach so that it look really pretty at the end. But it looks really go gorgeous now. Wait until we add the vegetables to it. But look, if you're going to do this, let me measure it out for you so you'll know. Don't add your jerk sauce until last. And here you go. This tablespoon of jerk sauce should be enough for you if you have a partner who is jerk shy, um, that does not really, you know, dabble in the jerk. <laughs> Personally, I'm going to put me some on the side, but we're almost finished, ladies and gentlemen. This is how I want my vegetables. I don't want them falling out. This is how I love my vegetables because if you want to warm them up, if this is going to be a, a, not a cold salad, because you can put this in the refrigerator and eat it cold. Um, but if it's going to be a warm salad, you want it to have some vibrant colors so that if you serve it for cold, you know, if you get to have to warm this up for somebody, the vegetables won't look like they died. That's my point. So if you got to warm this up for somebody, for a group of people, uh, your vegetables won't look like they had a heart attack. You know, been somebody's house and they vegetables look like they had a heart attack in their salad. And you're just going to mix this around. This <laughs> smells heavenly. And it also looks really good, if I have to say so myself. <laughs> okay, so now it's all about what is it going to taste like. I tell you right now, it's not over jerk, but it is a jerk salmon. Don't put your jerk heavy on your salmon on the grill. I put this on the grill, so don't put it heavy on your salmon. If you have people who don't eat like heavy, heavy, that heavy, heavy type of thing, don't, don't do that. So I hate wasting anything. So I'm just going to put that little bit up in there. It's got a little sweetness to it. I can get by with it in this house. Just a little drop of sweetness to it. Okay, what are you guys thinking? Hey, sis, serving for seven. Yes, it is, Yolanda. Yolanda, this is a serving basically for seven or eight, to be honest. Um, as long as they're not like greedy, greedy. You love the Uncle Joe's sauce and the flavor, but it's so spicy. It is. And that's why, um, Tara, I added the mango. You, have a, you need to get a very, very ripe mango, or you can use mango puree. And you add it to the sauce to offset some of the very spiciness. Um, but it is delicious. Hey, Betty. Betty said, child, you need an old-fashioned dinner club. Cook food and extraordinary entertainment. I live in California. I will be there in a heartbeat. Oh, Betty, oh, my God, I love you. That is so sweet, Miss Betty. I love you with your pretty self. What's up, Francine? How you doing, Francine Squire? You coordinated my outfit with the salad. Hi. Did I really? Let me tell you. I, I have a thing where I say you should not ever, unless your circumstance is happy, you don't need to, if it's anything other than that, you don't need to look like it. So if your circumstance is not happy, we don't want to hear it. You know, we don't want you to look like that anyway. Because you start, if you, if you look like what your circumstances are, if you, Sometimes if you know, and I'm talking about what you are feeling on the inside. If you if you look like that, you'll keep drawing that to you. So I say don't, you know, don't don't do it to yourself. Don't end up looking like that. I've got tons of, of fresh food over here that um that I was working out of because I started this recipe um before I came online so I can continue. Um and the only thing I did was I put that um I put the pasta on, as you know. Pasta normally takes about 20 minutes. I use, um, I use gluten-free pasta. So I don't like my, my pasta stays al dente, al dente, and it, um, it's not tough. This pasta is really he healthy for you. It is gluten-free, and some people say they can't tell the difference, but I, I say that your taste buds are dead if you can't tell the difference between a gluten-free pasta and a, and a regular pasta. So we can continue. Let's put this on a on a pretty. Somebody said, you know, we never see you plate anything. So I'm gonna show you how I plate everything. That's why I need that cookbook. You're right. I mean, I'm, and you know what? I started to show y'all some of the pages in the cookbook, um, but I don't want nobody to steal my idea before I get it out. So um, 
we're in the phase now where I'm actually starting to drop in um, the recipes and making sure they're consistent. So um, I don't want to mess it up. Um, hmm. I'm going to keep going if that's okay with everybody. Oh, I know what I want to do. I don't want to hear nobody. Uh, I don't want to hear nobody saying nothing negative. Not that y'all would. <laughs> oh, that started before I started. Everyone falls in love sometimes. Sometimes it's wrong and sometimes it's right.
everyone. How y'all doing? Okay. Mm. I know y'all like she is cray cray. A little bit. A little bit. I'm a little crazy. What's going on? Curtis, I love this. So wish I could record it. Hey, Jade. How you doing? BFF. How you doing, Kia? What's up, Sandra? Adele got big old laughing lines. Adele clowning on here. I know she is. What's up, Lauren? Oh, y'all having a good time? She said, you need a step stool. Yes, I do, friend. I do. I'm short. <laughs> I need a step stool. I can't barely get to the stuff in my house. Okay, y'all. So, you know, when I'm thinking about plating stuff, this is, you know, this is how it kind of manifests itself. I'm starting to plate it right now. I'm thinking of all the things. What can I put around it that's useful in eating this? And... I'm probably going to go for some nice crackers and I'm going to put a little Parmesan around it and then I'll kind of speckle some things around it so it'll, you know, so it'll look really pretty because I think some crackers will go with this really well. I got to find some crackers, but I think some crackers might go with this real well. As a matter of fact, I really need some of those sesame crackers, but... I might have to beg Eric to go to the store. I'm looking for some sesame crackers. I don't know. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a nice little grilled cheese squares. That's what I'll do. Grilled cheese squares. Let me taste it first. See what this tastes like. Hold on. I'm up in here trying to taste it. It's so much better. I think the crackers are going to work so much better. But let me, let me find something so I can taste this. A cheese stolen mounds. Is all that we share. I want a little bit of tomato. You got your family and they need you there. Though I try to resist being last on your list. Well, no other man's gonna do. So I'm saving all my love for you. you try it. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I saw those. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is good. Mmm. Personally, as long as you don't have a person, mmm. Mmm. Okay, mmm. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's really good. Eric, you want to try this? Yeah, after the show. Mm, he said after the show. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so check it out. What am I going to do? My pants. I'm losing my pants. What am I doing? I'm going to put something around it. I'm going to make it happen. Let's do one more song. Katrina can't have none. Katrina can't have any. Eric just told you you can't have none, Katrina. I guess she was asking for some. He already basically told you. Oh, y'all, let me do this one request. I don't know if I can, but I gotta do it because it's better if I do it without telling y'all the details. sorry you know what i just thought it was let me tell you i'll make up for it i'll call you the person that, that i was supposed to do this for i'll call you and sing it to you personally that's not the right track um it's got the right it's got some stuff there but it's just too much that's missing and, and i ain't gonna be able to get it right so I, I'm, I'm gonna really jack that up if i you know if i do that so we'll skip it for now and then i'll call you personally and sing that to you okay in the meantime, I know y'all, I know it's 7 o'clock. Let's end on a happy note. Can we end on a happy note? Eric, everybody can hear you. You may as well walk in the door. What they say? Hey, Eric. See, everybody can hear you, Eric. Just got here. What you cooking? 
Well, Thea, I just finished a uh, salmon salad, a jerk salmon salad. Um, and um, it's right here, but I'm plating it right now. And so that's what I'm doing. And it, we also did just a straight up vegan salad with jerk dressing. And um, personally, I think uh, a lot of people are going to go for not the vegan one, but the other one. And I'm thinking I'm liking the Parmesan around this plate. Y'all see how I get this started? Okay, here we go. I know that Hazel did it the other day and she was butchering it. I don't know why she decided to do it, but here we go. This is my last request for today. I ain't say I was gonna say no more since my last request for today. Make you like I would be a fool for you. All of the people turn and stay. I really don't.
it's all about the plating. So I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. I'll probably plate it differently, but this is how I kind of mess around with it. This is a big, a big flake of Parmesan cheese on the top. I think that little whiteness, that little ivoriness. Woo! Okay, y'all, obviously, y'all know what I be listening to sometimes. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so let me tell y'all, I love y'all so much. Hey, what's up, Roxanne? What's up, Mercedes Black? Songbird Cafe, I love it. The Songbird Cafe. Hey, because you're cooking and eating all up in the cafe, okay? I thank you guys so much. You're so, you just made me so happy, you know? You made me so happy. I just gotta, I gotta tell you, you bring me so much joy. That is not the song I'm looking for. It just happened to pop up. So hold on. I don't know what this is. Oh, ooh, that's the slow version. Hold on. We ain't gonna end on a, on a Wednesday, a Thursday with a slow version. So we're gonna make sure we pick it up. So that you guys can go home happy. Okay? Are you ready?
all because there's so many of you all that have helped. I appreciate you guardsmen women so very much. And Marshall, you know I love you from the moon to the stars. Oh, so much I can say about you guys. I miss you all very much. And I just want to thank everybody that has donated and meant the world to us. Don't forget to go to foesugar.com. We're going to be sharing a very sweet recipe this week. So keep that in mind. We'll be sharing a very nice recipe. So go to foesugar.com and, you know, I'm always wearing something cute when she advertises and the blog is the bomb. I love you so very much. It's Thursday. And if I come back later, it'll be able to make a cocktail. Let me hear you say the word. over the weekend. I hope you'll feel safe. I hope you hold on to God's unchanging hand. I hope you don't let anybody beat you down. Let me hear you say the word yes, yes to you. Say yes to yourself. I want to hear you say yes. Yes to yourself. Push through. Sometimes it's really hard. I know. I know. But God made you so unique. So say yes.
always, we got to remind each other. We have to say yes. We have to say Y-E-S to us. Can we? Can we say Y-E-S to you? Yes. Can you do that? Say yes to us. Say yes to you, to Y-O-U. Say Y-E-S to Y-O-U. Can you do that for me, baby? I know you can. And if you do that, oh my God, we can make it back here. I love you.